Hey guys, it's Jenny, aka Coot Dizzle, and um, you know, I never thought that I would be making a video like this. <laughs> uh, this is a rant video. Um, I had something happen today that I was heartbroken over and extremely confused over. Um, you know, the women in my breast cancer community, especially in my stage 4 breast cancer community, we're all very close because we have this huge cloud hanging over us. And for the most part, we're pretty much all upbeat and very supportive of one another. And I get on Facebook and there's a post. And one of, one of these women, I'm not going to name any names, um posted some pictures of two women in a grocery store in scooters, electric scooters. And she said, I'm going to be a bit ugly right now. If you have to start something off with, I'm going to be ugly, or if I'm, I'm going to say, I want to tell you something, but it might piss you off, or what I might have to, what I might say might piss you off. That's probably your cue to shut the hell up. Okay? Just zip it. These two women riding around in these scooters, they ask a, a stalker to come over and get feminine items off the shelf. Really? How the hell did you get into the store? I ask myself. I have breast cancer and never did I use these things. I am walking around on my own two feet just pure laziness, the two of them together. Excuse me? Excuse me? Ma'am? Let me tell you about my experience. <clears throat> As a terminal breast cancer patient who actually uses scooters because um, I have diaphragm mats I have it in the lining of my lungs. It's hard to breathe sometimes. My blood counts drop really low. These are typical reasons why women or men who are with cancer, period, take scooters sometimes. Um, later in the comments, she was like, yeah, I wanted to go up and ask them if they had heart or lung issues. It's none of your business. None of your business. So, we spent like all day, and I was trying really hard, really, really, really hard to be nice. Um, <laughs> because for the most part, I really don't like confrontation. I really don't like it. I don't like fighting with people. I don't like arguing with people. I think it's ridiculous. But something like this, normally if I see something, like if I see a political post, or I see, um, or if I see if I see a post that I don't like, I usually just hide it and just keep on scrolling. And that's usually what I advise people to do if they don't like my comments because I say a lot of racy stuff. <laughs> um, but I just couldn't. I just I kept I I kept looking at it and going to YouTube and watching a video and then going back to it and. It just didn't sit right with me in my in my core of my being um, because that's great that you haven't had to use a scooter I'm really proud of you I really hope that as your cancer progresses which it will even if you're NED you're only NED for a certain amount of time and then your cancer comes back um, I don't know your status because I really don't follow you that closely um, but I, I told her that, you know, I hope that as your cancer progresses that you don't have to use these because then you'll really understand like what it's like to be in this kind of position and even more so if you're young and you look healthy, you get a lot of looks. I do. I'm, I go to the grocery store. I tried the last time I tried to go grocery shopping at HEB. <clears throat> I real I was like, I'm not going to use the scooter. I'm not going to use the scooter. And halfway through, I couldn't breathe. 
and I was so lightheaded I felt like I was going to pass out. I'm standing there kind of like in a daze wobbling around and this woman comes up to me. I had hair then and she was like, are you okay honey? And I said, no. I said, I have terminal cancer and I should have gotten a scooter. And she's like, okay, you wait right here. I'm going to get you a scooter. And this nice woman went out there, got me a scooter, came back, put all the groceries in the cart for me. I sat there and I recovered for a little bit. Um, and it was really nice because I felt like utter shit just sitting, just standing there. I mean, when you, when you're 33, when you're a young person <clears throat> and you're supposed to be healthy and doing these everyday mundane things and you can't, you know, like your mind is telling you, you're only 33, you should be able to go grocery shopping without a scooter, Jenny. You're only 33. But then your body's like, uh, hello, you just did chemo two hours ago. You're not good enough to go grocery shopping without a scooter right now. I think that's what really, <laughs> I think that's what happened. I just got done doing chemo. I was very, I was very like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to get in a scooter. And it wasn't like, a shameful thing I just there was just something else that cancer was taking away from me it was my independence for just walking around a grocery store so if you're watching this please 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 with everything inside of you if you see someone in a scooter do not assume that they are perfectly healthy and just being lazy I'm sure there are some random people that do that, but I really can't imagine too many healthy people just using a scooter to use it. Um, these women could have had lupus, they could have had MS, they could have had cancer. Not every cancer patient that does chemotherapy loses their hair. Not every chemo makes you lose your hair. So to sit here as a stage four person and pass judgment on these people, it bothered me on so, so many levels. And then to read the comments, they were like, oh, I bet they parked in the handicapped parking spots too. Uh, hello, I have a handicap placard. I had one the first time that I fought because it's in my lung system. And I have one now. <laughs> And I do, I get the looks, especially before I did the whole brain radiation and lost all my hair again. And let me tell you, the attitude, and it's not just her, it's a bunch of people. Because before I lost my hair to whole brain radiation, when I would go grocery shopping and get in the scooter, people would cut me off, people would give me the looks, people would stop in front of me, um, and I'd just sit there and wait sit there and wait for them to move out of the way now that I'm bald again and I'm keeping my hair buzzed I'm keeping my head shaved not for this reason although maybe half of this reason let's be honest um, but then the other half is for Drax shadow um, for little Elijah who's um, fighting so so hard right now um, please send out some warm energy um, his mom vlogs everything. It's mom, mom's vlog 80 or mom vlog. I think it's mom's vlog 80. Um, but he's amazing. Or type in Drax Shadow. D R A X. Anyway, so now when I'm in the grocery store, the last few times I've been, um, if there's a, like a big family that just stops in front of me, I just reach out and take my hat off. And they move. People now. Now that I'm bald, they, they put the two and two together and they move out of my way. Or they don't cut me off, they don't stop in front of me. Um, it's like in order to earn the respect of the scooter, or earn the right to, I don't know what I'm doing the air quotes, but to earn the right to be in a scooter, you have to look like this. Or you have to look like you're dying, you know? I had a friend who used a scooter once because she had a miscarriage and for like a week she used a scooter and it broke my heart. She was in so much pain she couldn't walk around and I bet there were people that were walking around judging her. They had no idea that she had just lost a baby. So it bothered me 
as a disabled person. I am disabled. My name is Koo Dizzle. I am 33 years old. I am covered in cancer, bones, lungs, brain, chest lymph nodes. You name it, I probably got cancer there. I'm covered from leg to brain in cancer. And I don't know if you can tell, but this little bump is starting to come back and it's pissed me off when get radiated again. Anyway, it bothered me as a disabled person. It bothered me as a cancer patient, as a stage four woman who has been in these situations, who has read in the who has read in the support groups of so many women getting berated by other people who are like, Why are you parking in that handicap zone, bitch please? Don't act like you are the police of the parking lot. If I have a disability placard, it's because a doctor gave it to me. So sit down and shut up. Don't ever question people. Just don't because they could be war veterans. They, they could, a number of things could be wrong and you just have no fucking clue. And, and it hurt me as a friend. As a friend because I thought she was a friend. And for her to sit there and I was, like I said, I was really polite and I was like, you know, I was like, this really hurts me. I know that this post isn't about me, but this is, this hurts me because there's a fellow disabled person who looks just fine. Yeah, sure. But here we are as stage four women trying to get people to understand that just because we don't, just because we look good doesn't mean we are good. Just because I have hair or just because I look healthy doesn't mean that I don't have cancer anymore. Of course, I don't have hair, but most of the women I know who are stage four, they do have hair. And they hear it all the time. Oh, you look so good. Are you done with treatment? No. Because once you're terminal, you're never done with treatment. I just, and I was just shocked. I was just so utterly shocked. As a, as a disabled person and as a cancer patient and as a friend, I was so heartbroken. And I think it took something, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think someone chewed her out really, really good. Like, I can't believe I let you into my house and let you around my children and this is how you um, are, are putting me down because I have a walker. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm dying. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but I just really, 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 it just really pissed me off and I felt like I needed to make a video and this is my first like real rant video. So please do not harass people that are in wheelchairs, using canes, using walkers, using scooters who park in handicapped parking spots. Just don't because you don't know what, what they're going through. You don't know why they have those needs. Like I said, they could be war veterans. They could have like gotten half their leg blown off and you don't know because you're too much of a bitch to stop and think, oh, well, there could really be some, you, sh that those people didn't need an oxygen tank. And she's like, well, maybe I should have asked them what was wrong. No, just go about your day. Just shut up and go about your day. Because I guarantee him deep, I guarantee you that if someone ever comes up to me and questions why I park in a handicap spot or why I'm using a scooter, if anybody's been to my Facebook page, you have seen my chest, the shirt's coming up and I'm saying I'm covered in cancer and I'm fucking dying. Shut up. Think, people. Think before you type stuff out. Think before you speak because your words matter. Your words matter have weight to them. These women, I don't know these women from left to right, but today these two women were paraded around Facebook and made out to be lazy whores. And I feel really bad for those two women, especially if something's wrong with them. Because those two women in the scooter, that's me and Keisha. That's me and Keisha in scooters rolling around H-E-B. Two bald chicks. Of course, back then I had hair when she came to visit. But it's like, your words, they have weight to them. And you don't know who you're affecting by what you say. And if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. 
I'm saying stuff on here because this is my channel, this is my release, and this is also a lesson to my children. Be better than that. Have more self-respect than that. Have more respect for your fellow humans. If people would stop and think like that, if you see something wrong, if you see someone raping someone outside of a dumpster, yeah, intervene. But if you see some young person riding around in a scooter at H-E-B or Walmart, just don't say anything. Just go about your day. It takes two seconds to be nice to people. And it takes one word to wreck their whole life. Or one sentence. It just blew my mind today. And it broke my heart. Um... So yeah, I didn't went on all day. I was like, just remove your post, man. Just take it down. You're pissing a lot of people off. Just put your stupid pride aside. And it, and someone was like, this is her page. And if she wanted your opinion, I was like, uh-uh. She put it out in public. The minute you put it out in public, you lose the right to tell people to shut up. I moderate my comments, but not because I want to shut you up. It's because of... I rewatch videos of my friends who have died from cancer and I cannot go in the comment section because people just say the rudest things and I cannot stand it and I don't want that happening with my children. So that's why I moderate comments. I don't do it to shut people up. I do if they give me a cure. But other than that, I'll approve it and let you know if I have a problem with it. And we can discuss it like adults. I don't know. It was just a very trying day. <laughs> I did not throw up today. So, and I had a banana with milk. And then for dinner, my husband made um, an open face egg sandwich. And I kept everything down. My pain was there because I don't think methadone is working. I don't know. We're figuring it out. But anyway, I'm going to end the video because I'm sure it's like 15 million minutes long. But it just, I couldn't, I couldn't not say anything. Because to me, that was so wrong on so many levels. And if you're one of those people that judge people who get out of the car in a parking, in a handicapped parking spot and they look okay, don't say anything because you don't know what they're going through. They could be an 18 year, a 19 year old war veteran. They could have graduated high school, gone over to war, got shot and sent back home. You never know. Have some respect for other people, please. This world would be so much better if you would just be nice to yourself and to other people. Anyway, check your boobs. Check your balls. And when life gets really overwhelming and you see an injustice in the world, feel free to speak about it. And if the person gets mad at you, you don't really need them as a friend anyway. And remember, this too shall pass. Bye guys.